Hello there, and welcome to another Tuesday tip from our viewers. First, let me say, I really appreciate you guys sending in questions and topics because it helps me provide to you what you say you need. Today, we're going to talk about amounts coming out of the Social Security check. It reads as follows. Hello, my name is Sharon, and I have a question. I have a resident who is paying back a student loan, which is being deducted from her Social Security income. My resident is 82. Do I count her gross income before or after the student loan deduction for her annual? Your help is greatly appreciated, Sharon. Well, Sharon, as you know, there are a lot of things that come out of Social Security these days. Student loans is one of them, child support is another, and even alimony. Also, don't forget the IRS. If any of those four topics are taken out of your residence Social Security, you're going to count the gross. The only way you don't count the gross is that if it's an overpayment by Social Security. If Social Security makes an overpayment to your residents, you're only going to count the net. It's unfortunate that at 82 years old, she has a student loan coming out of her Social Security. Perhaps she signed for a grandchild and they're in default on the loan. But yes, all four of those people, the IRS, the student loans, child support, and alimony can come out of the Social Security check. Another, hi Vicki, Ella here. Do you know when the income limits for 2020 will be posted? Well, Ella, I don't. I looked out there for them yesterday myself. It was April of 2019 that the 2019 income limits came out. So let's just hope that the 2020 will be out soon, hopefully by April. Well, that's our Tuesday tips for today. And again, I'd like to thank you guys for sending questions in, things that are on your mind, because we all can learn from them. Thank you and see you next week for another Tuesday tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.